rules have always changed over the last uh, 20 months. Again, new rules to tackle a new variant. All air travelers coming from outside Canada, apart from the United States, will now need to be tested at the airport. They will then need to self-isolate until the results are in, whether they're vaccinated or not. The federal government is also extending an existing travel ban for African countries to include Nigeria, Malawi and Egypt, saying their testing isn't as strong as that of other countries with Omicron cases. We believe that, um, that the measures that we have in place are appropriate. All this as two new provinces add to the tally of confirmed Omicron cases, one in Alberta and one in B.C. We are not seeing widespread transmission of this variant in B.C. yet. That's a total of seven confirmed cases in Canada, with the results of hundreds of tests still pending. Some public health experts say playing whack-a-mole doesn't work. It's likely already been around the world a couple of times, and so we're not quick enough with instituting travel bans and particularly to individual countries, um, which probably aren't necessarily the only place where those things exist. Expanded testing, on the other hand, could have a big impact. The border is a fine place to do that. That being said, we also need to optimize our testing within Canada's borders as well. And so testing in schools, testing um, in various other places and just maximizing our ability to get information on who is infected. Ottawa is also in discussion with provincial and territorial health ministers on next steps and it's asked the National Advisory Committee on Immunization for updated guidance on booster shots. Rafi Bujikani on CBC News, Ottawa.